now on YouTube and on Facebook and, and, and. So hopefully we will, we will, yay, be able to get this going. <laughs> okay. Oh, lovely. You can totally like see my phone in the way. Oh, well, it is what it is. So I'm a little bit, oh goodness. Okay. So I'm a little bit late today because um, right before I was starting this, I picked up a piece of my camera equipment and it spun around and hit me right in the face and it hit me like in the eye and it hurt so bad. I am so awesome. <laughs> like I just have a way of knocking it out of the park. So hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. All right. So to start off, I am just going to announce right away this will be the last time that I stream live YouTube and Facebook at the same time. I can't do it anymore. It is too complicated. I have three cameras set up. If you guys could see my setup right now to make this happen, that's why you see my phone in the way right here. If you're on Facebook, um, it's, I literally was almost in tears before I started this and nothing is worth that. Nothing is worth getting that upset over. <laughs> so, from now on, I will be streaming live on Facebook on Mondays, and the time is actually going to change also because this time of day is horrible for my family. It's just not working. I need to change the time. So the time is going to change, which means I'll be much more relaxed, and hopefully things will be much smoother for me on my end. And then um, I will be uploading the live Facebook to YouTube. So if you follow me on YouTube and you're gonna be sad you're missing out live, then you're actually gonna have to watch me on Facebook Live or you can watch the recording of Facebook Live later on YouTube. So those are gonna be the options because I just can't do both at the same time anymore. It is, it's too hard. So, um, cause right now while I'm streaming live on YouTube, I'm streaming live on Facebook, vice versa, and it's just a lot. Okay. So that being said, I'm going to, um, I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that we're going to be doing today. And I want to make several announcements. So I'm going to be using this stamp set little one because I have a team member who, um, had, um, a granddaughter and I wanted to send her a card. So I use the stamp set. It's one that's been sitting in my stamp room for, I don't know, a year and I've never used it. So I thought I would get it out and use it. And I, the card came out really cute. So I'm going to show you, um, the little boy version and the little girl version of this. And then I wanted to, um, show a couple of things. So every month I get together with my friend Katina and we do a class to go and a class to go is where you can purchase um, either the card kit from us or the card kit and now a stamp set for just $7 extra, which is really inexpensive. Um, and so I'm just going to adjust my camera here a little bit. And so, um, these are two of the cards. There's four total. There's three cards and a 3D project total. Um, we do this by pre-order. So you have to pre-order this class to go and you only have until next Wednesday. So if you're interested in this, there will be a link below the YouTube video and there'll also be a link on Facebook for you to order the class to go um, also. Now, um, when you pre-order, you'll get an invoice from us if you choose to do the stamp set. If you just want the videos and the card kits, then it's just, you just pay for it and it'll automatically generate an email to you with the videos and then we mail the card kits towards the end of the month. So um, if you're interested in this, pre-order closes April 11th. So you'll be seeing posts from me on Facebook and on my um, email and blog and all that stuff too. The other class to go that I have right now is this one. So this is free with a $50 minimum purchase. So I don't know if you know this, but National Beer Day, <laughs> did you even know there was such a thing, um, is 
this week um april 7th it's for it's saturday so i thought it would be, be fun to make some masculine cards that look like they have beer um, bottles on them and you can see it's using this paper that you can no longer get but i hoarded some away so that i could make card kits so if you place a minimum 50 dollars purchase you get this completely free you get two of each so you will get four card kits total Plus, if you do a $100 order, you get this cute little bag that I'm going to make for you, plus these um, glitter and clear epoxy enamel dots. So there's that. All right. So I have friends saying um, thank you and hello and all of that. So hi, everybody. I'm so happy you're here with me. Yay. So let's get to our project. And then we have a bunch of giveaways at the end. And I also have some really awesome happy mail to show you that I've gotten throughout the last week. So I want to show you that also. Okay. So we're using Welcome Little One. I've got my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and Smoky Slate ink. And I've got some card stock here cut and ready to go. So this piece is four and a quarter by 11. And it's folded in half at the top to make an A2 size card, which by the way, I love, um, I really, really, really love top folding cards. They are my favorite. So I try to always make any card I make folds from the top. Um, and then I've got a piece of Smoky Slate cardstock. And this piece is cut at uh, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. This piece is cut at four inches by five and a quarter. And this piece, I don't remember. It's, um, it is three quarters of an inch or yeah, three quarters of an inch by four inches. Okay. So we're going to start out with our stamping on this piece. I wanted to create my own background and I wanted this card to be really soft and sweet. So that's why I chose smoky slate cardstock. And I've got, or I mean, um, ink. I have the little stars from the stamp set. And I am going to randomly stamp all over this background. So you can see that I'm kind of turning my block as I stamp. And that's because I really want to create just kind of a very random background. I don't want it to look perfect or cookie cutter cut her. <laughs> so I'm trying to turn my stamp and change it in different directions as I stamp so that it will have a different pattern. Okay, so that creates my background and it's really simple and soft. I don't know if you can see the stars there. All right, and then I've got a piece of, oh, here it is. I have this piece of um, Whisper White cardstock and I have just cut it to be big enough to stamp this on, this little TP. And these TPs are all the rage now. Have you guys seen these in like Pottery Barn catalogs and all different stuff where you can get the play or reading TPs? Have you seen those? Do you know what I'm talking about? All right, and so I hate to bring up a sore subject. Um, okay, wait. Actually, first we're gonna we're gonna stamp this too. Get my ink over here. So I have this sentiment that says "Welcome, little one," and I'm going to stamp it. I have to stand up so I can be up over the top of this, right in the middle. Okay. All right. So there's my piece there. All right. So I hate to bring up a sore subject, but it's got to be done. I'm so sorry. I am going to be using the stamp and blend markers. So these markers are out of stock right now. Stampin' Up does not have them at the moment, but they'll be back. So just hang tight. And when the, when the um, supply is replenished, you can rest assured, I will let you know and they will be back for people to purchase. So it stinks, but you know what? Lots of companies run out of stock of stuff. It's very common. Um, and I have to say, 
you know, there's, there's lots of stamp companies that, that I notice because I get emails from other stamp companies and stuff and it'll say, you know, we've just run out of stock of this or we've run out of stock of that. And honestly, I believe it's because we get products from China. And so if something's going on there, then it kind of stops production on our side of the world. Okay, so I am outlining each piece of this TP with this dark Knight of Navy marker. Hey, Jen. Okay. Then I am going to use my light Knight of Navy marker to color the inside. So it's just kind of like I've highlighted the outside. And I can tell right away that this color combo is not going to come out as beautiful as the other one I made, which I'm going to show you. But that's okay, because it's still going to be cute. And the thing about alcohol markers is you really have to let them rest. You can't, you can't go off of what you, what you color right away. You have to let them rest and seep into the paper really well. And then you usually get the final look, which is beautiful. Okay. And then I'm going to use my smoky slate light marker here to color the tops of the TP. And I'm going to color the inside of this TP with crumb cake. And then I'm going to go back in with some light smoky slate. So there's just a little bit of color contrast. And I'm leaving some areas just white. Okay, now let's fussy cut. So here is the rule of fussy cutting. For me, it all depends on if you want to leave a white edge or right up to the line. I have this thing about leaving a white edge right now. I think it's very, first of all, it's very trendy. That's what, you know, is kind of the popular thing right now. But also, I just like the way it looks. I don't know why. So I don't cut right up against whatever it is I'm cutting out. I cut out just a little bit away from it. I'm just going to get rid of some excess paper here. And if you notice, I'm moving my paper and not so much my scissors. So if you struggle with fussy cutting, this is a tip for you. Okay, so those of you that joined us a little late, I have to tell you, before I start, I was a little late starting our live tonight because I have a piece of a quick camera equipment that I went to set up. And when I did, it like swang, it like got loose with the, the screw, like got loose that was holding a piece of it together. And it hit me right in the eye and it hurt so so bad that it it made me cry like I mean I wasn't on the floor like my child would be but it brought tears to my eyes it hurt oh, so bad so I was trying to fight through that to get here with you guys live and it was just I wish somebody could have been in the room with me because it was really funny and ridiculous now it seems funny at the moment it did not seem so funny I may have cussed in fact Okay, so we are going to put down this piece of smoky slate cardstock. And then this layer of background pattern paper that we created, we made our own pattern paper, which you can do pretty much with any stamp set. Um, and then I need to pop up a 
my little okay normally this is this is the only thing i hate about live <laughs> i would have i would just cut this whole part out all right so then this is going to get popped up right here and then this piece is going to get popped up right below it so i have a bunch of giveaways today they're all pretty simple um, small giveaways, but I have a lot of them because I want the stuff out of my craft room. So some of the people who won last week never contacted me and never gave me their information. So I will be choosing a few winners from last week's and then, um, and some new ones. Okay. So there it is. There's the finished product and see, I told you the pink is prettier, huh? I like the pink one much better. And you can see the coloring, the shading is really nice. Um, the Knight of Navy shading didn't, didn't really work as well, in my opinion. I could add a little bit more here if I wanted, see if I can. But you can see how much that, that light dried back already. So you can see a contrast where when I first put it down, you couldn't even see a contrast. Okay, so, hey, Andrea. All right, so there's the um, fun card, super simple. So the reason I made this card, and I have to tell you, is I'm part of the All-Star Tutorial Bundle Blog Hop. Every month, remember I was telling you you can get these card kits for free from me? Well, when you place an order with me, any size order, doesn't matter what size the order is, when you place a, any size order with me, you also get 12 free tutorials from me. And those tutorials are created um, by 11 other, besides myself, 11 other ladies across the globe. And they're all very talented and I adore all of them very much. They're really, really cool people. So the bundle is something that I just email out to you when you place any size order with me. Um, so that's something you can get free. And that's what this blog hop was about today. So if you haven't visited my blog today, you could visit and you can do the blog hop and go around and see all the cool projects everybody made. Okay. Um, oh, yay. So Kathy said, she, these are cute. Now she needs the stamp set. I'm telling you, they're super cute. And there's, it's not, there's not much to the stamp set. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty basic and simple, but man, it makes some really sweet little cards. Okay. So let's do some, I wanted to do some happy mail stuff. So I received this card this week from Cindy Rodman and I'm going to cover up her address because I don't want that to be seen. But this is the envelope that it came in. And then this was the card. And she drew this. Isn't that amazing? So she just has a really sweet note inside. Um, and apparently she used some old Stampin' Up! stamps to make these. and um, Or to make this. And so she's just really sweet. Um, yeah. And so she's just thanking me. And then she made me this bookmark. So I thought this was pretty. I'll probably put it in my Bible and um, keep it in my Bible and use it as I need. So isn't that sweet? I really love it. Very cool. I can't believe she drew this. Very talented. All right. So there's that. And then this is from a team member, Carol. And this is, I love this card. I think it is gorgeous. It uses the petal palette um, stamp set. And she did some, there's a technique for this. And I can't remember what it's called. But she raised part of where she stamped. So it's very, very pretty. Okay. And then I got this card from another team member who actually is on here. Now she's a team member, Kathy. This is one of our paper pumpkin cards and I never did make this kit. So I thought it would be fun to show a finished card from that paper pumpkin kit. 
um, she created this card for me and just is thanking me um, for the opportunity to place orders with me and then be rewarded with gifts. And now she's joined my team. And so she's part of us. Yay. Yes. Eclipse, Karen. Thank you. That technique I was trying to talk about. Okay. This is from another team member, Cindy. She made me this one, Cindy Shirk. And she just says, have a wonderful Easter. Hope your day is blessed. And I love this card because she has all this like empty space and then a focal point. And I just really, really love this card. Great job, Cindy. Okay, so those are the cards that I got the, over the last week. All right, now I want to do giveaways. Yay for giveaways. All right, so this one is another one back in the pool. And this has got the four Stampin' Spots. Daffodil Delight, Soft Suede, Real Red, Lemon Lime Twist. And I'm going to draw a winner right now. You have to live in the United States to get these. Um, so winner for this goodie right here is Mini Bartos. Mini Bartos. If she's still on, Minnie, make sure that you message me your um, info. I mean, I have tons of giveaways, guys, so stay with me here. Message me your info. You can either email me at wendy.cranford at live.com or you can send me a Facebook message, How, whatever works for you. Okay, so this is Minnie Barto. So I'm going to have to stack these in order so that I don't lose track of who won what. All right, so there's that one. Next up, I have a card kit. It makes two two cards. They're exactly the same. Um, and there's an exclusive video. So I will email you the video if you win this. I actually have two of these to give away. So I have two of these to give away. Um, Sharon Fletcher. Sharon Fletcher wins one. And... Um, oh, I just saw that the person, okay. Oh, well. All right. So Sharon Fletcher, hold on one second, guys. I'm scrolling through and let's do Chris, Trish Kelly. So Sharon Fletcher and Trish Kelly. They are the winner of these two card packs. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to stack those in. All right. So here's, I've got another couple. These are my thank you gift card kits from last month. I have the exclusive videos plus a little designer um, bubble and fizz DSP gift sampler. So this one goes to Kathy Beamer. Kathy Beamer. Congratulations, Kathy. All right, I'm still going. I have another one here. Two card kits, class to go kits. These are from last month. Again, I will email you the exclusive videos for those. Winner of these will be, I'm scrolling through to randomly land on a person, Martha Buner. Martha Buner. I don't know if I'm saying her last name right. Martha won those card kits. Okay, and then finally, I have a sampler pack left over of the Myth and Magic um, glimmer paper. There's a bunch of it in here. I'm not going to take it out. I hate it because it gets all over the place. So 
the first person to comment and tell me you want this can have it because not everybody likes glitter paper. I hate glitter paper. So if you like it, it's a love hate relationship. I love it. I love the way it looks, but I hate that it's a big mess and it gets everywhere. So I want this out of my craft room. <laughs> so if you want this, please message right now. And the first person I see Deborah Walker. Deborah Walker is the winner. She sent in the message on YouTube. Okay, so these are all of our winners. Minnie Bartow, Sharon Fletcher, Trish Kelly, Kathy Beamer, Martha Buner, and Deborah Walker. All won goodies. So if you want them, except Deborah, she lives near me, so she doesn't need to message me. But everybody else needs to message me and let me know that their let me know their address send me their address and i will get those mailed out to you you have to either email me through my email at wendy.cranford@live.com or message me through facebook okay next week this week i'm going to be announcing my new time for my facebook lives it is going to change i'm not going to be on youtube live um i'll still pop on youtube live here and there but it's not going to be every monday like it has been because i can't i can't do all of the um cameras and all of the stuff it's just too hard too much so if you would like to join me live next week I will be um, back here again. I have not figured the time out yet, but I will. I'll be on Facebook Live. And also, I will um, I will make sure to let you know when I have a YouTube Live. So I hope you all had a great day. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week. This is a great way to kick off the week with a little crafting. And I hope that you uh, enjoyed my little goodies today, my giveaway and my random acts of kindness and the cards that we made. And I'll see you again next week. Um, yes, Kathy, Kathy said, are you going to upload Facebook live on YouTube? Yes, I am. That's my fix. I'm going to be recording them live on Facebook and I will upload them live to YouTube. And I'm so sad to not um, be doing it on YouTube anymore, but it's just too much. And thank you. Heather said, hope my eye is okay. It's going to be very sore. I can tell it's going to be sore and it's probably going to be swollen, but it'll live. I've been through worse. Okay. So I will talk to you all again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.